This video will show you the proposed route of Spectra Energy's New Jersey, New York natural gas pipeline. Using conventional construction methods, the pipeline will be buried underground with a minimum of three feet of cover. And in several places, it will be placed significantly deeper using a modified construction technique called horizontal directional drilling. Beginning at Texas Eastern's existing compressor station in Linden, New Jersey, Spectra Energy will remove two of its existing 20 and 12 inch pipelines and replace them with a new state of the art 42 inch pipeline shown in blue in a process known as take up and relay. As the pipeline approaches the New Jersey Turnpike, we encounter the first of several horizontal directional drills, or HDDs, shown in purple, that have been strategically designed along the route. Horizontal directional drilling technology is a trenchless construction technique that buries the pipeline deep underground, 40 to 140 feet, while eliminating impacts on the surface. At the end of the HDD, the pipeline makes its last stretch in Linden before passing beneath the Arthur Kill and entering Staten Island. In Staten Island, the pipeline passes deep beneath the Gothels Bridge to arrive at Texas Eastern's existing meter and regulating station 058. This location marks the end of the take up and relay of the existing pipelines with the new 42-inch line. Moving forward, Spectra Energy is installing a new 30-inch diameter pipeline shown in orange that has a higher strength and wall thickness than is required by federal regulations. As we pass through the industrial area shown on the screen, we approach the longest HDD along the route that crosses beneath the Kilvan Call and makes landfall on the southern tip of Bayonne. After making landfall in Bayonne, the pipeline travels east toward the Bayonne Bridge. At this point, Spectra Energy has designed another HDD that places the pipeline, once again, beneath the Kilvan Call, this time to avoid impacts to residences along East 1st Street in Bayonne. At the end of the HDD, we are approaching the first of several mainline valves that Spectra Energy has proposed along the pipeline route. These mainline valves are required by federal regulations and provide Spectra Energy employees the ability to quickly restrict gas flow beyond those points should the need arise or in an emergency. As we pass the second mainline valve, you can see that the pipeline parallels closely to Route 440 before it passes beneath a tidal water inlet and diverges to the side of the proposed Bayonne meter and regulating station. This meter station will serve as Spectra Energy's interconnection with the local gas distribution company, PSE&G, and it will provide the means to serve future energy needs throughout the region. After leaving the Bayonne meter station, the pipeline passes into Jersey City and travels through an industrial warehouse area. From here, the pipeline travels north paralleling the New Jersey Turnpike within and adjacent to nearby existing roads. Just past Cave In Point Road and Bayview Avenue, another proposed mainline valve has been designed to add an additional layer of safety to the pipeline. As the route continues through Jersey City, it travels in a northerly direction, closely following the New Jersey Turnpike. North of the mainline valve near Pacific Avenue, Spectra Energy will perform an HDD deep beneath Marcellus Street to avoid aging infrastructure within the roadway, as well as impacts to the road surface. At the end of the HDD, the pipeline travels beneath the nearby elevated highways to the site of the proposed Jersey City meter and regulating station and the last mainline valve on the route. From here, Spectra Energy will perform another HDD beneath 18th Street and the Long Slip Canal to again minimize impacts to the surface. After the HDD terminates in the waters adjacent to Hoboken Terminal, there is a short section of waterway before the final horizontal directional drill beneath the Hudson River. 
Once the pipeline makes landfall on the Gansevoort Peninsula in Manhattan, it crosses beneath West Street for its interconnection with the local power and gas distribution company, Con Ed. This video has detailed the proposed route of the New Jersey-New York expansion project. In addition to traveling mostly through industrial areas, the proposed pipeline has numerous safety enhancements and benefits. The New Jersey-New York expansion will be one of the safest natural gas pipelines ever built in the United States, meeting or exceeding federal safety requirements. The pressure of the pipeline will be monitored 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. This safe pipeline will bring numerous benefits to the region, including clean air and lower energy prices. It will also create thousands of jobs and will generate millions of dollars in taxes. Finally, it will give the New Jersey, New York region the fuel it needs to support its growing economy and power the future. Please visit the YesGasPipeline.org website for more additional examples of changes to the route that were made based on input from our stakeholders.